Hello, friends and enemies. My name is Gerd, and welcome back to more Fire Emblem Sacred Stones Reverse Recruitment. When we last left off, we did a whole bunch of missing. And now, we're going to uh, kill a bunch of monsters. Okay, so, uh, I said I was going to get the body ring to Leon. Because, uh, I mean, no one, like, super needs it at the moment. And... He might as well take a little bit less of a speed loss from Nagafar, so that puts him at 13 speed, which I'm okay with. Now, let's see who needs skill. There's gotta be someone with kinda low skill. I mean, Ewan, I guess, or... Um, I don't know who needs it. I mean, usually I just kinda sell the secret books, but I don't think I need to. Um... I'll give one to Siren, I guess. Because why not? And I'll give the other to... Uh, Sally? Sure, why not? I, I'm just try trying to burn through my inventory here, because... Okay, now who wants the talisman? I'm thinking Glenn, because I tend to throw him into the fray quite a bit. So let's um, temporarily... Put the Philly shield in there. So, save, save the trouble. I know for this chapter it'll be kind of helpful be, due to all of the the flying eyeballs around here. And... Actually, you know, I wonder something. Let's um, find someone with an empty inventory. Like, hide in, I guess. And... Can I get rid of the Lunar Brace and Solar Brace? It'd be... <gasps> oh... I guess that treasure can't be sold. Oh well, that's fine. Um, I might... So it's... I'm probably gonna use Murr in this chapter. So that'll be fun. The group sets off in search of Grotto's elusive Imperial Prince Erica. Marissa has ordered Frelian troops to aid in the hunt. The troops return with news that Erica has moved north. The group's search for Erica leads them to Mount Naleras in the heart of Darkling Woods. The scorching heat and sulfur stench and sulfur stench render the area unfit for human habitation. I don't see how a lava-filled thing can be in the heart of any forest, but okay. Endless numbers of gorgon eggs stud the forbidding landscape. Well, soon there's gonna be a lot less. I actually, I actually like this map quite a bit. There's basically a whole bunch of whole bunch of incentives for you not to turtle scattered throughout the entire map. It's great. Amelia, may I ask your advice? What is it, Leon? There's no need to be so formal. It's about Erica. My brother was right. Erica's been possessed by the Demon King. He's... he's no longer the Erica I once knew. But I can't help feeling there must be some way to bring him back. Please help me, Amelia. I want to save him. Rousen is a spiritual heart of Magvel. They keep the ancient lore. You're the princess. You must know something about the demons of legend. Is there anything that can save Erica? I'm so sorry, Leon. To the best of my knowledge, there's no way to aid him. That can't be. There must be something. Any clue, no matter how slight. Our oldest legends tell us this. Only one person has ever been able to shake off the Demon King's domination. Rouston's founder, St. Latona, the sure-hearted, shattered his fetters. If one possesses a strength of will beyond that of normal men, only then can one throw off the shackles of the Demon King. But you saw it for yourself, Leon, with your own two eyes. Your friend Erica's body has already been claimed by the Demon King. Once it's gone that far, there's nothing that can be done. When the Demon King takes over someone, he devours his spirit, his very soul. Even if its hold on Erica's body could be released, that body would have no soul. There is no power in Ralston, not even the Sacred Stone, that can perform so great a miracle as to restore a shattered soul. But... Erica... Leon... I understand how you feel, but the prince is gone. The Erica you, no longer, you knew no longer exists. It's more important now that you care for yourself. If we pursue the Demon King, we're likely to suffer for it. I want you to return to Rouston Palace and rest yourself. Thank you, Amelia. However, I must stay with the company. I have to believe there's something I can do to help him. Erica was always so kind. He wanted nothing more than to help people. 
It's too terrible to picture him imprisoned by the Demon King. Imprisoned with no hope of salvation. Oh look, it's a uh, green guy. This way. The enemy went into the recesses of this valley. Brother, do you smell something? Smell? Yes, an unpleasant odor like sulfur. It's emanating from this valley. Yep, that's... Cool. This is in the heart of Darkling Woods. Are those eggs? Gorgon eggs. There are so many. Brother, the eggs! They've started to hatch! No, he's led us into a trap. Watch out! Everyone, steer clear of those eggs! Or, we do the opposite and charge into them. Okay, so... Who am I forced to deploy? Okay. Um... I might actually not need Ewan much for this, but I still want to bring him, so I don't know... I want to keep all my flyers, so... I think Kyle might be my least useful one here. I'm, definitely, I'm bringing Murr, because why the heck would I not? Um, and that should be good. Alright, let's save over the battle prep save screen. I uh, probably could have... Alright, so... Let's see what Glenn has in store for us. Can we kill it real good? Oh, he can. Vidofnir. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, and I don't remember if I can fly directly over that gap. I'm about to find out, though. No, I can't. That's kind of annoying. That's, hmm, questionable, but okay, whatever. Sigland. And since everything is just a, uh, everything's a monster here, Everyone with a sacred weapon is going to deal quite a bit of damage. Okay. So, Murr... I don't know how tough she's going to be in this map. Oh, dang it. I thought I'd be able to reach her. I probably should, like, actually consider what bits of map are actually bits of map, and what bits aren't. Okay. So... I should be able to do this map pretty quickly. The last time I did this, I didn't have any of the eggs hatch. So... I'm looking forward to seeing how well my performance will be this time. I know down here a bunch of spiders are gonna spawn, but I guess we'll 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 see how threatening that is once we actually have to deal with it. Okay. Natasha's kinda just here as staff support, but any support is welcome. Okay, and then Valter. Okay, Leon. Summon another phantom, why don't you? Actually, this phantom can probably attack the egg. Oh, duh. Why didn't I do that with the other phantom? This is great. Phantoms can just kind of cross... Cross over the nothingness. These things get wrecked. Oh, right. Forgot about that. That's fine. I can live with that. Okay, cool. So, I'm just going to keep summoning phantoms. So, keep having them kill the eggs instead. This is awesome. It looks like they double the eggs. I didn't expect them to be able to do that. Man, even though Ewan's not fighting anymore, he's still super helpful. I I think it's kind of interesting that the eggs are treated like um, actual monsters as opposed to walls. At least that's what I'd expect them to be treated as. Okay, so this thing's going to kind of give me problems. Uh, Glenn has a spear, though, I believe. Oh, my God. All right. Um... Okay, here's what I want to do. I'm going to... Let's see. Murr can attack this one and, yeah, one-shot him. Perfect. I need to get Glenn up to that one up top. How do I go about doing that? That's another good level. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, it's a cliff. Dang it. Um. Okay. Okay, someone's gonna get shadow shot, and there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. That's fine. I don't think anyone will die to it. As long as I have a phantom out, it's going to attack the phantom, so I shouldn't have to worry. And let's see. Yep, go. Oh no, don't put the phantom on that. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is the map where you can activate the, the glitch that lets you take control of monsters. So, when I when I play this game way back in the day, what I'd like to do is get a monster weapon, pick my favorite character, and then have them solo the tower with it. And back in the, back in the day, that always ended up being Ross, 
Maybe because I just kind of liked all the training units. They weren't like... I guess looking back on it, it's because I was like grinding a lot. So that's why I always knew they were... So I always thought they were super amazing. But it's really just... They're, they're in the... Everything is set up for them to succeed when you're grinding like that. <laughs> Alright. So this map is like really easy if you don't actually fight any of the the gorgons that hatch from the eggs. It looks like none of them are growing. I thought they would have done that by now. Interesting. Okay. Well, Glenn's got a spear. And that's pretty much the only threatening enemy on the map. The only thing else that's kind of bad is the, the stoner there. I couldn't think of a better way to put that. Uh, but I'm not too worried about it. I wonder if there's like some kind of glitch happening if the eggs aren't growing. I feel like they should have by now. Well, if that's what's happening, then this map is made even easier than it already was. Okay, cool. Um, eyeball. Okay, they can't... I feel like the stage would be a little bit better if you could actually fly over that. But I guess you can't. Okay. So yeah, this is the... As I was half starting to say, this is the stage where you can first start doing the control enemies glitch which it, so you use that and you take a, take a crimson eye or something and then go nuts with it so that's what I'd always do but I, I never really did that during the, the main story because it seemed to be a little bit RNG dependent and when you're trying to like actually progress in the story you don't want to waste your time doing that and it also might just only work in the creature campaign, for all I know. Okay, you on? Uh, gain a little bit of experience, I guess. Okay. Uh, Marisa. Yeah, the flyers aren't, like, contributing as I'd expect them to in this map. Um, okay, so I can't put a phantom on. Yeah, the phantom can only occupy one of those spots, so I guess he's stuck there. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, and just that. Cool, and turn. Okay, never mind, the eggs are growing. Alright. I don't have to worry about that being a glitch problem, whatever. There they are! Alright, now this is the sacred stones I knew. Okay, so let's uh, send the crew up here. Marissa's got her weapon, Glenn's got his. Everything's gonna die. Ah, oh, he one-shots even the spiders. That's great. Now, I wonder how well he does against the, the big spiders. Probably comparably well. Okay. Uh, the Phantom can kill that next turn. Um, I'm gonna have uh, Tana kill... Oh, she doesn't, doesn't one-shot those. Or one-round those. That's fine. She's still contributing. That's all I can ask for. Okay, cool. Phantom can go all the way there. Um, let's see. Now, can I... Come on. Alright. Uh, Murr. Now, can I actually... Cool. Okay, so Tethys can actually go where I'm expecting her to be able to go. Which is great. I could have sworn that in this game, the Dragonstone had two range. But, I don't know what game I'm confusing that with. That might be Awakening. So I know... I know Noe, Tiki, and Na could do two range. But, I could be making that up. Okay, I have to kill the stone one, because that's where all the problems are going to come. Um, okay, Murr can do that in one shot. Come up, Falzer. Or I could just, um... Yeah, I think I'll do this. And then... Oh, come on. Great. So Murr will take, uh, only I think these... I think she'll take 10 damage. Or I can summon a phantom. The options are endless. Well, let's, uh, let's do a Physic. Physic on Balter. There we go. Alright. Uh, I think... Who's... Okay, Ewan had the Phantom that's still dead. Or that is... That is dead. Okay, so... Let's see. I can kill two eggs this turn, actually. I think I will. Okay, so Mero will kill one. Oh, interesting. She's not doing lots of damage to him. You can't, uh, highlight the eggs either, so that's something. Excuse me. Um, 
Okay, who's going down here? Okay, Cormag. Um, do any of your weapons like actually do good against these? Ah, uh, not really. Hmm. Let's see. How about Siren? Not really. Uh -huh -huh. Okay. This is um where the problems start. Um. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'll just uh I'll let one of them come to me. This is just a defeat enemy map, so I think I'll I can I can send more people down. I don't need to focus on having Leon in one particular place for this. Um, what can I physic? Oh, just Mer. That's fine. Okay. Uh oh. Eggs are growing. Don't worry, the Phantoms got him. Oh. Cool. All right, so that's the boss that's going to die soon. Cool. I wasn't sure how safe that was going to be, so I didn't want to... Because Cormac, I think he would have died if he got attacked by both of them and then the the gargoyle. And I don't know how many uh, more of these things are going to spawn. All right, so I'm going to focus my attention on the eggs for now. Make this map in as quickly as possible. Okay. Um, I think the one phantom's going to die. Oh, God. That's not even threatening at all. Amazing. Oh, that's more damage than I thought. Okay, it makes a crit when it kills enemies. Okay, I believe what the thing was is... Um, in this map... Um, okay, so Murr is kind of in danger, actually. I can't safely put her down here. Let's see. I mean, I'm definitely going to heal her, but... Oh, so stone. Ah, oh, Falter, come on. Maybe Nagafar. No. Why do you think that Nagafar was an effective weapon? Um, I can still bring out Gleipnir. That's also an option. So, yeah, a uh, double S rank Dark Tome action. Or did Dark Tome? Oh crap. Well, that's bad. Um. Well, I guess I have to rely on Valter. There we go. No problems. So don't quote me on it, but I want to say that if you... If the Lord gets stoned, then the map ends. Or, it's, it's a game over. Um, okay. So I'll heal Mur with um, Tasha here. And then uh, kill one of these spiders with with Mur. Kill the uh, kill the egg with a phantom. And I, I I have I have this whole thing planned out. Oh god, Mur's gonna be so good by the time she levels up. Usually I don't touch her until chapter twenty, but I'm able to get away with doing it now. Um, uh, kill her Lance. In case she gets attacked. Oh, wait, no, this guy has a javelin. I shouldn't have bothered. Or, oh, oh, a toxin lance. Wow. Okay. These eggs give a, give a lot of experience. So I'm kind of glad I'm going through the effort here. I don't know if they give more experience than they would have if they were Gorgons, though. That's uh, something to test, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Phantom contributing like a, like a good unit. All right. Let's uh, mess up that egg. Ah, gee, even as like a over level 10 promoted unit, they're still gaining a lot. Okay. Um, Lance. Kind of wish I had another S rank weapon for Tana to use. Man, if only I could give out the, the Siegmunds to Glenn, then we'd be in business. Okay. That's good. Okay, so I guess only dark magic isn't effective against monsters, which kind of makes sense, but also is kind of stupid. I thought just the S-ranked weapons were supposed to be good against monsters. Oh, well. Um, dance. I guess Natasha can also try uh, killing one of the eggs here. 
Yeah, she can afford it. And I don't think the spider can get her. The spider can get Murr, but Murr should be fine. Let's see. Um, nope. Okay, so Murr will take, um, let's see. So that's, uh, 24. Murr will take, oh, Murr will take zero damage from that. And then probably definitely zero from that thing. Yeah. Okay, Murr is fine. Um, I guess I can summon a phantom. Ewan should be doing something every turn. It might as well, might as well be phantom summoning. Oh, phone. Let's see. I know these things can spawn with devil axes, but I haven't seen myself get one yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I guess some of these, uh, hatch sooner than others. I don't know what determines it, though. Oh, he doesn't even stand a chance. <laughs> Let's see. I don't remember what stats Murr can gain two in. I think it might be just HP. Which is fine. I don't have to be greedy. Let's see. I, I believe I can get all these eggs by the end of this turn. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I think Marissa can reach the one closest to her. And then from there, it should all fall into place. Oh no. Ah, uh, this this gives me some some nice flashbacks to the the early parts of the of this playthrough where I'd just be able to do everything in, in a single video without making it a million hours long. So that's always fun. Okay, so Marissa, take that one. Um, actually, you know what? No, Marissa, help uh help kill the spiders because. There, there's there's three eggs up there. I can kill two of them with uh, Glenn and Tana, and everything will be fine. Okay. I don't know how much damage Valter's going to take from the spiders, so I should probably watch out. Oh, God. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. What are these guys called? Bales? Sure. Why not? Oh, Poison Claws. Okay, so I'm not worried at all. Um, let's see. Okay, so Valter... Go there. Um, do it with a javelin in case you get attacked by the eyeball. Or the... Whatever the heck they're called. Okay, so... Oh, does Leon already... Oh, Leon's phantom is already out, I guess. Okay, sure. Why not? Summon. His eggs are going down, and then... Gorgons are the worst to fight, mostly because stone is such an obnoxious thing. Because I believe it also you can, it can also potentially just instantly kill you if you get hit while you're stoned. So, that's fun. I think most JRPGs that have petrification as a status will make that a mechanic. So I'm not too surprised that that's how it is. Alright, these just count as... I guess the, the eggs don't... Do the eggs... Ah, uh, whatever. I... Hmm. I don't know what I'm thinking about. My brain's just going in every direction right now. Okay, I believe more bales might spawn down here, so I'll kind of leave these guys to their own devices for now. Uh, Mer, use your infinite use dragon stone. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mer's so good. Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, so she's, uh, I'm much less scared about her dying now. I think she has as much defense as Glenn. Because originally she was kind of in that, like, a kind of mildly annoying middle ground of... Oh, it's kind of hard to use a dancer in this chapter. But I'm not complaining too much. Oh, hey! Phantom's being awesome again. This is what I keep him around for. All right. Um, never mind. He was bound to die eventually. Okay, seven enemies left. Let's do it. Maybe I can finish finish recording this game today. Well, nah, there's there's three chapters left, and what at least one of them's gonna take a while. Probably the last one. I have, I'm not too good at the last chapter of Sacred Stones. <laughs> the last last time I did it, I 
I, I wasn't aware of the fact that the reinforcements were endlessly spawning, so I was trying to just work around that, but that ended up not being viable. That's what happens when they spawn infinitely. All right, one shot him. Go, Marissa. Okay, uh, Leon, show him your Nagafar. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's turn on um, turn on animations for a second. Uh, just for Leon, because I, I, I haven't seen Nagafar this playthrough, and I'm not going to. So I might as well. I mean, who Nagafar just looks so cool. So let's just see him totally nuke an eyeball here. Oh yes. Like, the, the strength of a dark magic tome is directly proportional to how long it takes to happen. Oh, that's satisfying. Alright. Um, another phantom, I guess. Chip away at the... Chip away at the bales. What do I got? Iron Axe. That's fine. That's 10 damage. Actually, his uh, accuracy was kind of low there. And... Okay, so I remember what the glitch was in this chapter, in addition to, um, you can steal enemies. Um, what I believe happens is if you, if an enemy dies, the, if, if the last enemy dies due to lava, then the game just kind of won't end, or won't treat the chapter as ended or something, because I guess it, like, doesn't properly count the kill or something. It's very weird and really annoying. Or at least I can imagine it would be. I haven't actually experienced that one for myself because I kind of knew it existed and knew to avoid it. Level up. And that might be cap strength. Awesome. Was that the last one? I think it was. Cool. Did it. Oh, look. It's Erica. Poof. Wait. Hold, Leon. Don't go anywhere. Erica's back there. I won't abandon him. <laughs> Erica! Erica! Le Leon? Erica? Where are you? Uh, I'm here. Erica. Hold on. I'll save you. Forgive me, Leon. It's over for me. The Demon King has devoured my soul. I'm mad. And I'm going to die. Erica, what should I do? How can I help you? Tell me. I'll do anything, but you have to tell me. The sacred stone. Give me the stone. What? My body is being ravaged by the Demon King. If it continues unchecked, nothing can save me. But if I had the power of a sacred stone, I could save my soul. Erica, please, Leon. I don't want to die yet. I want to live with you. If I had the sacred stone, I could heal myself. Please. Could the Sacred Stone really do that? Could it heal you? Yes. Please, Leon. I, I, I trust you, Erica. I have a stone right here. Ugh. Oh, God. Ah, oh, it's true. A Sacred Stone. Ha <laughs> ha. An abominable Sacred Stone here in my grasp. What? Erica? No, you're... Ha 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 ha. How disappointing for you. This body is now mine. Nothing remains of your dear boy's soul. You only pretended to be Erica. You deceived me. Return him. Return Erica now. I'm afraid there's no hope of that. You see, I've devoured him, bite by bite, slowly. How I savored it. Nothing remains but the suit of flesh I wear. There's nothing to heal. Not even the power of a sacred stone can craft something from nothing. He cannot be saved. That can't... Ha ha! Ha ha! I love how humans look when they're drowning in despair. Now is the time to be done with this stone. Ugh, oh, God. Erica, that was, uh... uh. Leon! Oh, caught up, have you? Hmm, I've changed my mind. I'll leave the girl alive. Take her. There, there are memories of you in this flesh I wear. And I hunger to see your face bear more suffering and pain. <laughs> Oh god, what Murr was trying to go somewhere else. I think. Interesting. Leon, wake up. Do you know who I am? Brother. Erica's Erica Leon, I know. Don't speak. I I Erica is he's really Let's go back. Amelia'll be worried. Leon, 
You can weep now, as much as you need. Weep for me as well. It appears the enemy fled over this cliff. I see no way we can pursue him now. So we got away, is that it? There's no cause to be discouraged. Beyond these mountains lie the heart of Darkling Woods. Before we enter, we must head north to Rouston. After all, we still need the sacred stone of Rouston. As long as even one stone remains, all hope is not lost. Come on, we cannot give in to despair when victory draws so near. Uh, okay, so... I know people give Salika a lot of shit for what she does in towards the end of Echoes, but I feel like this is way stupider. Cause, I mean, at the uh, just like one scene ago, at the start of this chapter, Larshell told Erica that the sacred stones can't save him, and then he says, "Give me a sacred stone, it'll save me." Like, okay. And she just immediately hands it over without a second thought. Like, at least what Selica did at the end of Echoes is, like, plays off a character trait she was already kind of established to have, which is being kind of naive. She didn't have much extra information uh, on the situation other than, okay, this might work, I'll do whatever I have to do. She wasn't explicitly told that she's going to give up her soul or whatever, and, oh my god. Okay, bottom line is, uh, it's, uh, Salika's best girl, and, uh, Erica did a stupid there. Okay, everyone. Mini rant over. My name is Garrett. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was, uh, a short one for doing an entire chapter. See you in the next one. Bye.